Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all the love on my last video. I really, really appreciate it. Anyway, today I am back with another DIY video. I really wanted to make some carrots because I've been seeing these everywhere on Instagram this season. Like honestly, some of them have been like, you know, for sale posts and everything and they are absolutely astronomical. Like I am 100% all for supporting local craft people, homemade supplies, everything like that. But some of them have been insane. Like I've seen some carrots like, 30 pound a carrot like what that i could buy like half of my fabric store for that um but anyway i thought today that i would give you four different ideas of kind of like carrot inspired diys i've made four myself one twine one one really chunky white kind of fuzzy one which i actually made from an off cut of the bath mat from the wall hanging diy the other day um i also made a fabric one and i also made a another fabric one but it's a different type of fabric one and it was actually made completely free of free kind of bits that I had so anyway I hope you enjoy this video can take away a little bit of inspiration something like that in order to make your own little carrot decorations these are perfect by the way to put on like centipedes and everything like that for your Easter spring display so for the first carrot what I went ahead and did was took some of this polystyrene this I used in one of my DIYs the other day I don't know if you've seen it where I made like the tin can with a kind of sign on that's why there's loads of paint on it but what I went ahead and did was just chopped a section off and then shaped it into like a kind of carrot triangle like shape and it wasn't very neat anything like that it just had to be the kind of like center piece of my carrot I then took some tissue paper and then just rolled the polystyrene shape up just to make it a little bit more bulky, a little bit rounder and I just kind of like shaped it with my hands to kind of squeeze it and make it more round. I then just took some clear tape and just taped down the tissue paper to make sure that it was kind of like, you know, staying in place. I didn't use an awful lot, just a little bit to kind of keep it pointed. What I then went ahead and did was took some hot glue and just hot glued at the top and then I took some twine. This twine is actually from Hobbycraft and it is a three ply twine and I just like held it down in the hot glue with my finger. I did burn it a little bit so be careful when you are doing this. I just then started to spiral it round kind of you know laying it down nice and neat next to the next spiral just so that I was able to cover the whole piece up. The whole entire carrot took me nine minutes in total. I know that because I watched back the footage and that's how long it was that it took me to do this. So I've just kind of left the footage in for you so you can kind of get the satisfaction out of the fact that that took me so long. Um, but I did just pop more hot glue down, spiral it away, pop more hot glue down, spiral it away, put more hot glue down, spiral it away until I got the end. I popped a little bit of hot glue on there and then just pinched it kind of together. Well, to make the kind of like stems stalks, leafy, greenery bit on top of the carrot. I actually just took some tassels which was off of an off cut of a bath mat that I used for a DIY wall hanging the other day. I don't obviously expect you to have a bath mat off cut hanging around but you could just make these of lengths of string and tie a knot in the end to recreate this if you like it. I just went ahead and pulled them and then cut a little bit off because they were so long almost the size of the carrot again and once that was done my carrot was then completed and this is what it looked like. I actually really really like this one and it was definitely worth the little bit of effort that I put into it spiralling all of that twine as I think it looks so cute. Anyway moving on to the second carrot DIY I actually just used the rest of that bath mat. Again I don't obviously expect you guys to have a bath mat off cut hanging around um but you can use like old pillowcases old sweaters jumpers fleeces old bedding anything like that even if you visit the charity shop and find something nice and textured that would work well for this so i just went ahead and drew out a carrot like shape and i sewed all the way around leaving a gap as you can see here i drew that out for you so you could see how big of a gap it was about two inches wide I then went ahead and just cut out that shape once sewn around on my sewing machine and I just kind of cut all of the excess fabric off. This was really really hard to do and even though my scissors are super super sharp, um, this bath mat was so thick. It was just 100% cotton so it was really tough to kind of cut through. As you can see I really did struggle but you just want to cut off as much excess as possible. I then went ahead and turned the shape inside out so that all of the rough edges were on the inside and I just pushed out all of the corners and everything with my scissors. Next to stuff the carrot I actually just used the kind of like off cut pieces like the bits I cut off excess just because I didn't need to use any stuffing for this like this was already quite a rigid kind of carrot with the fabric used so I thought I may as well use the kind of like 
off cuts and everything just to stuff it up and save my stuffing for another project. So I just went ahead and stuffed that up and then just stitched it closed just with a really big stitch making sure it was nice and secure because this um, fabric was so textured I could just you know make it as messy as possible and you wouldn't really see it if it was the same colour. To make the stems of these carrots, I'm so sorry I don't know the actual word for this part but the, like the tops of the carrots, we'll call it the tops of the carrots from now on. Um, I just took some twine and wrapped it around my fingers to make loads and loads of loops. I then just stitched these loops into place onto the top of the carrot and I did about four, maybe five of these loops in total so that I had like a good bunch of like carrot top twiny bits on top. <laughs> So once all the top was then completely secured and everything, my carrot was then complete. Now first of all, I was not sure about this one because I thought it kind of looked like a fuzzy parsnip. But as I'm kind of like warming up to it a little bit, I think it's kind of cute. It also does look like a white corn on the cob or something, but I don't know. I kind of like it. I think mixed in with the other textures and stuff of the other carrots, I think it looks quite nice on a display. Anyway, moving on to the third carrot, I actually just used this little sample piece. This piece of fabric actually came as a sample from um, like a sofa store because I was recovering my sofa at the time and looking for the perfect grey one. So I have loads of like these samples hanging around. I haven't thrown them away, I just thought that I could use them for future projects and I'm using one of them today. So then I just folded one of the corners up on the long diagonal and I took some hot glue and then folded the other kind of corner onto it so that it made a cone like shape. I then went ahead and cut off that excess kind of flap and then I just used a pin just to like distress what was left to make it nice and kind of fluffy and kind of like more raw in a way. I don't know how to describe that but just more like rustic looking. I then went ahead and just opened up the cone like shape that I had created and then I just stuffed it with some toy stuffing. You can buy any stuffing that you want, like toy fill, polyfill um, from like craft stores. You can use old pillows, old toys, anything that you have to stuff this up would work perfectly. I then just folded over the top and just stitched that down. And I then also started like making loops around the carrot just to kind of like cinch it in a little bit, make it a bit more kind of like textured, a bit more going on on the shape. And I did that about an inch thick all the way down, just putting a slip knot basically in it, pulling it tight and making it cinched in. Once I had all of those lines around my carrot, I'm not 100% sure if I'm happy with that. I might even undo those. Um, I don't know, I think they kind of make it like another vegetable or something. Yeah, I really really like the fabric that I used, I'm just unsure of these like cinched in bits. I don't know, let me know down in the comments if I should keep them or if I should take them out. I think once they're in with other, other carrots it kind of gives that carrot a bit of extra something that the other ones don't have, but I don't know, I'm still not 100% convinced. Anyway, I then moved on and made the top of this carrot and with this carrot I actually used twine because I really like the way that the warmth of the twine kind of contrasts the coolness of the grey in the fabric. So I just wound this round in my fingers and then cut off the excess. I then like cut one side of the loop and just hot glued the kind of like raw edges of the twine down to the top of the carrot. The reason that I did this was because I wanted this one here to be kind of like spiky instead of like looped around and more softer. I just wanted it to be a bit more rustic looking so as you can see I'm just pinching all those pieces of twine, popping them straight into the hot glue so it just like hot glued it straight. Hopefully that makes sense. I went ahead and cut the loops in the top of all of those and then just trimmed them down, made sure they were all kind of in place, like pointing the right way and everything like that. Added a little more hot glue to secure them in and just make sure that they were really on there. And like I said, I trimmed them all off to make them all the same length and this is what the little guy turned out like. And then moving on to the fourth and final carrot, I actually just took this kind of like duck egg blue shade of vintage fabric. I then took a needle and thread and just stitched this by hand up in a kind of like diagonal triangle shape. Once I had the main shape then completed, I just tied off my cotton, cut off the excess and turned the shape the right sides way round. Once I had the little cone, by the way this is very similar to the last one, but it's sewing and it's different fabric. Um, yeah, so once I had the main cone shape, I just stuffed it with the toy stuffing yet again. Once I had that done, however, I didn't like, you know, seal up the top or put those lines in. I went ahead and I made the carrot top separate. So I just took some of this grey wool felt and I just hot glued down one side. And um, this is where I realised that I probably should have cut like the slits in it. So I went ahead and did that. 
If you are making this, I would recommend cutting the slits before putting the hot glue down as it does make it a little bit more tricky. I had in mind of gluing it up and then cutting afterwards but realised that this would be a little bit more trickier this way so I just went ahead and cut the slits in now. So yeah, I just rolled it up on itself so that the bottom was all kind of like really really compact and the slits kind of like spread out a little bit like carrot tops usually would. Like I said, I didn't kind of um, like secure down the top of the carrot. So what I did was I popped some hot glue in there and then popped the base of the carrot top in there and held it down so that the glue set. Once the glue had then fully set, I went back in with my needle and thread and just like slip stitched the top of the carrot and then I just kind of pulled it tight to really cinch it in and give a gathered like effect. I wrapped the cotton around this kind of like pleatedness um, just to kind of secure it into place make sure that it wasn't going anywhere and then I just tied off my thread to make sure it was fully secure. So that is the very last one of the carrots. I really really love how this one turned out. I love the duck egg with the grey contrasting felt. I don't know I think it looks really really farmhousey and I'm just enjoying how the whole thing came out. So that is how the four carrots turned out. I hope you like them. I really, really like all of them. My favourite one out of the four has to be the twine one. I think I'll definitely make a few more of those. I think the fact that obviously I made the one out of the bath mat off cut was perfect because it just cost me nothing. And I obviously stuffed the carrot with the actual bath mat off cuts itself, so even better. The twine one really was just using some rubbish and covering it in twine, which again, absolute minimal cost did take me about 10 to 12 minutes to make but 10 to 12 minutes saved myself a pretty penny i would rather do that i also used um a fabric sample for one and just an off cut piece of fabric that i had left over again in my craft store so like i said just let your inspiration kind of flow for this project honestly you can use anything like even the shirt would make a cute carrot i'm gonna be going around cutting up things now you just wait and see um so anyway yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do give it a thumbs up as it really does help me to know what type of content you like um it helps me just to gauge what to do more of what you guys like as well as what i like obviously i'm gonna be making these products mainly because i want to make them anyway but i would love to have your input on them so yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video if you haven't already please do hit that subscribe button as i'm getting so many new people join me and it's making me so happy my heart is so full and yeah that's the end of today's video hopefully you enjoyed it and i will see you in the next one which will be another diy maybe a little cheeky haul because i have been poundland shopping and i want to do a few diys from that so maybe i'll do a haul next and then another poundland diy video to follow so yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video and i will see you soon bye